Now at 5.30, unrest on college campuses over the war in Gaza. Free the student! Free the student! The protests unfolding from the east to the west, Columbia University to UCLA, where police broke up protests overnight. And here at home... We will not stop! We will not rest this close! Not yet. Where students at Case Western Reserve are still sitting in, their demands divest from organizations that have ties to the Israeli government and military as it carries out that campaign in Gaza. But how did we get here? The history goes much deeper than the attacks on October 7th. Israel and its neighbors have fought war since it declared independence in 1948, forcing Palestinians from their homes. After the first war, the area was split into Israel, the West Bank, and Gaza. There were two Palestinian uprisings in 1987 and 2000, leading to Palestinian control of the West Bank and Gaza, and Israel pulling out of settlements in Gaza. After Hamas won control there, Israel began a blockade in 2007, which restricts the movement of people and goods. Israel and Hamas continued sporadic fighting until on October 7, 2023. Hamas launched a surprise attack on Israel, killing 1,200 people and taking 250 hostages. Dozens are still being held captive. The Gaza Ministry of Health says 34,000 people have been killed, while in Israel, the government says they've lost around 1,700 in the ensuing fighting. But the continued strikes and blockades in Gaza have created international concerns about the humanitarian crisis. And that brings us to those protests happening on college campuses around the country. It is day three of one such protest in Cleveland. Our Catherine Ross, they're live now for us tonight. Catherine. Yeah, guys, well, the crowd has been growing out here at Case Western's KSL Oval. You can see the tents are still up. The university has been a little bit more lenient about allowing them to keep those up throughout the day as a means of shelter. There are speakers out here giving speeches throughout the day. And these protesters tell us they plan to be here and they don't plan to go away until their demands are met. A green space in the center of campus, now a place for expression. It's been a really lovely just community space uh, where we just are able to sit here, have our signage up, and make sure that students kind of walking between their classes, walking between, between their finals and things, are just you know aware of what is happening in the world and the fact that um, we can no longer stay silent about what is happening to Palestinian people. Since Monday, Case Western students and others have been camping out, calling on the university to divulge what ties it may have with Israel as a conflict rages halfway around the world. Until we are respected here at Case Western Reserve University, we are going to remain right here. Halfway across campus, the university's Jewish groups are holding their own event. It was supposed to be a finals week study break held in the Oval, now occupied by protesters. It's just walking past those signs. It feels like a punch in the gut and a violation. Some students and staff at the Jewish Center tell us they haven't experienced any outward violence or hatred, but they do feel uncomfortable with some of the messaging and say it's been a distraction during finals week. I'd like to say no, but I, I, I that the truth is yes. I mean, I, uh, I spent all, almost all of Monday down here instead of uh, down there on the quad doing uh, my studying and whatnot. The center pledges to be a safe space for its Jewish students. And protesters at the Oval say they'd welcome productive dialogues. If they can, you know, understand like our plight and our and our suffering, I, I feel like we can we can create more of a fellowship. We can become united. In downtown Cleveland Wednesday, another group also protested. Free, free Palestine! Free! Community activists are denouncing Israel's involvement in Palestine and KeyBank's investments in Israel. Workers of the world should unite and, um, and push back against the billionaires who are suffocating us and our planet. Some of those protesters plan to join the campus demonstrations Wednesday. Those demonstrators don't plan to leave until the university meets their demands. Now, classes do wrap up here at Case in the next couple of weeks, but protesters say they plan to stay out here, and the university tells me they plan to allow the protests to continue as long as they remain peaceful. Now, I did reach out to Key Bank today about the downtown protests. The company says it does not have any comment. Live in Cleveland, Catherine Ross, News 5. Thank you for the update, Catherine.